Okay, so uh, having a little bit of a workout here, as you can probably hear from the breathing. Um, not too bad actually. We didn't feel it, but I just come up from down over that way. And ahead of me, I can already see the gannets just gliding around on the wind on top of the cliffs. So uh, hopefully, a couple of minutes, I'll be over this brow and uh, see what's going on. So okay, I'm now on top of the cliffs and I have gannets all around me. Um, so I'm just having a look around, see if I can actually see any puffins anywhere. And at the moment, I would say no. This is purely, purely gannets at the moment. And I'll just turn you around and you can see what I can see. So from my left, as you can see there, gannets on the rock. Down through. And they're all underneath my feet, as you can see here. But I don't think there's anywhere near as many as the last time I was here. These cliffs were white the last time I was here. And as you can see from the cliff face there, there's very, very few nesting birds even up a height, even at the top part up there, there's very few nesting birds at all, which is a shame. But I'll hang around for a little while and see what we can find. Okay, as I showed you when I got here, there's gannets galore. Um, beautiful <laughs> seed drop right down there. There's a couple of nesting right underneath the ledge in front of me, so I've just got some pictures of them on the uh, 200 mil and the 2 to 500 mil so I'm hoping they come out all right at the moment I haven't got a clue um, the wind's picking up a little bit If I just keep walking this way just a little bit more, as you can see, that's my destination if I go any further. So yeah, I've got no intentions of going down there. So I'm going to walk along the path that way. So the head up there, because you can see there's a lot more gannets up that direction. And uh, see if I can catch anything up there. So I'll go for a wander and find anything else. I'll talk to you again shortly. Okay, so uh, I'm at a different location now. I've uh, finished with the gannets this morning. Um, so one or two possible puffins on the pictures. I wouldn't swear to those, um, but I have been given a location that there are some more puffins. So I'll be going down there later on today, about 30 miles away. Um, I hope you can hear me over this sea noise. I've just seen a bit of B-roll there of where I am at the moment. And this is another little bay just round the corner from Culliken Bay. I'm not sure the name of it, but I'll find it and I'll put it up on the bottom of the screen for you. And I'm here for the sea stack that you probably just caught a glimpse of in the uh, scan there, just because of the waves breaking. These are actually quite <laughs> big waves coming in here, but it's, uh, it's quite a steep shingle beach, so I'll just be quite safe up here. And I'm here to try and get hold of the sea stack. So, um, 
Let's see how we get on. Big one there coming in now, but so uh, let's just see what happens with this fella. Pretty spectacular, really spectacular. So anyway, let's get this photograph taken and uh, see what comes out of it.